Welcome back to the knife shop, guys. <clears throat> Today, be talking about something that I've kind of avoided for a while, <clears throat> but it seems as though uh, kind of everybody likes these, huh? and I wanted to see what was up with them. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I did so I got here the uh, Rough Rider classic carbon carbon steel with yellow composition handles that never goes out of style <clears throat> now guys I'm used to you know case being in a small, simple box, uh, you know, Rough Rider has gone above and beyond with this box. It even comes with magnetic um, lid holders. I, I I don't know what else to call it. Um, Yeah, we'll get a look at this thing. And this is the way it comes, you guys. You know, I'd had a Rough Rider many years ago, many years ago. And I just never did care for it. Um, <clears throat> it was kind of a, the cheap of the cheap knives. Um, and that's just what it is, how it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, I give, I think it's fourteen ninety nine for this thing. And it is a trapper. Uh, you know, it's not a classic trapper, but it's a, a trapper knife. Um, so after doing a little bit of research with this, it turns out that, uh, they use... T10 um, steel in these, um, which is, from my my better understanding of it, is um, a modified version of 1095. Um, of course, yeah. Here we go. That's a Warren Cliff blade. And then you have your other spade blade um, to make a, you know, a trapper knife. It is a true trapper. Um, other than the Warren Cliff blade, um, it is slip joint. And it has the half stops in it, which is Kind of unusual for a cheap knife. Um, I know some other folks that's on YouTube here that um, like the half stops. I like the half stops too. Um, that you know, it makes it a pretty nice knife. They call that the walk and talk. Um, so, <clears throat> it has the, the match strike um, nail pulls on it. Um, that's kind of a nice little thing that I found that Rough Rider does. Um, it is pretty nice. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but this says has the R and the R and then C C, which is Rough Rider, and then the classic carbon, um, noted for carbon steel. Um, the blades are mirror polished. Um, I don't know if that can kind of show off what it, you know.
what it is. The mirror on that. It's pretty nice. Um, so the yellow, I've I've seen a couple of um, kind of conflicting things on that. I always thought this stuff was plastic, um, and I assumed it was. Um, but on a different website, when I was doing some research on these, um, turns out this is um, they call it a bone, a yellow bone. Um, I don't think Rough Rider would make um, this yellow bone knife. Of course, I, I could be totally wrong. Um, I always thought the uh, composition was was the plastic. Um, but it says that it's made of cow bone. Um, that's a non-renewable resource and all this other mess of stuff, but I, d I think this is just a plastic. It sounds kind of plasticky. Does have brass pins, um, which you don't feel. You know, usually on these cheaper knives, they don't they don't ping them down very good. Um, this time they've done a pretty good job. Um, says the bolsters are silver nickel um, kind of the same thing as like an old timer has done um, but they put this R on there continues out this way <clears throat> the blades on these uh, they're saying that they're both the same size you know, three and a quarter inches long the uh, closed length on this thing is four and a quarter inches long it's a pretty big pretty big knife and open they're saying it's uh, seven and a quarter inches long uh, that's pretty long it's a pretty pretty fair size knife uh, there it is in my hand you know you still got quite a bit of knife in your hand uh, weights four ounces just kind of normal pocket size weight this is made in China but I will say that you know, there's no gaps in it the only real thing that I've seen is this little black mark right here and I think that's something coming out of that maybe it's broke off maybe it just needs to be polished out or something uh, but this is the way this thing come there's no modifying uh, you can see the brass liner in there three different colors I'm sure quite sure you can it's pretty nice for $15 the Warren Cliff blade is kind of one of those things that's, it's classified by the straight edge on it and what would be considered what would be a cutting edge here, like a drop point. Um, kind of has this dulled off edge right here. Uh, but it's kind of reversed. The straight edge, which would probably be on the top, the dull edge is flipped. You know, it's kind of a utilitarian type style blade. Uh, doesn't require any <clears throat> extra movement for that. You know, if you're cutting. Uh, it's one single edge cut all the way through. 
Um, that's why Warncliffe, uh, Lord Warn Warncliffe, uh, designed it this way. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options on this um, style of blade, the Warncliffe style. Um, but uh, yeah, I figured I'd get a Rough Rider in here and kind of see how that went. I, I I have had these in the past, like I said, but there's nothing really that uh, tickled my fancy about it. Um, you know, I was always just a kind of a, a case guy. Um, but I seen this thing and I, I thought, well, for 15 bucks, I'd pick it up and try it. Um, I've carried it a day so far, used it a little bit. Um, seems pretty sharp maybe after a little bit more use um, I'll come back and do a little bit of an update for you guys um, but I appreciate you watching please like comment subscribe all the good things Thanks for watching. God bless.